to watch part 1, click the I button in the top right hand corner of your screen. Portaventura Explained Part 2 Over time, Portaventura as a resort has grown drastically. The park's location approximately one hour from Barcelona and close to nearby beaches make it a popular destination with holidaygoers. Even despite this growth, the main Portaventura Park has always remained the flagship attraction. This has been made possible in hand by its unique collection of rides, which often integrate seamlessly into the well-themed individual areas. The park is currently home to six unique lands, including Mediterranean, located at the main entrance, Polynesia, China, Mexico, and the Far West. The sixth and final themed area came as a result of the managerial changeover of 2009. The new owners instantly began the construction of a dedicated, large-scale children's area. In partnership with Sesame Street two years later, Portaventura debuted Sesamo Aventura, Europe's first Sesame Street theme land within a theme park. A collection of new rides were constructed within the area, while previous attractions saw rethemes to feature characters from the show. During the same season, preparations were underway for a new, large-scale edition. Just under a year later, Shambhala, a ride which many consider to be the park's flagship attraction, opened to the public. Located in the China section, Shambhala is a Bollinger and Mabillard hypercoaster, standing 76 meters tall, crowning it Europe's tallest roller coaster at the time of opening. After being dragged up to a great height, guests complete a number of airtime hills, giving them the sensation of weightlessness for several seconds. The ride quickly became a success, with many recognizing it as the best at the resort and even as one of the best in Europe as a whole. The following year, the entire resort was renamed Portaventura European Destination Resort, emphasizing the multitude of on-site attractions available to guests. However, this name was short-lived, lasting only until 2015. Around the same time, the KRR Fund acquired a large portion of the shares within the resort, marking another managerial shift. 2015 also saw the debut of the resort's fourth hotel, Lucy's Mansion. A single year later saw the name of the resort change to its current form, Portaventura World, as well as the construction of the chain's biggest single attraction investment to date. Throughout 2016 and the beginning of 2017, Portaventura constructed Ferrari Land, a new 100 million euro theme park placed within the resort complex. In April of 2017, Ferrari Land opened to the public, as did arguably its flagship attraction, Red Force. Red Force quickly became Europe's tallest and fastest roller coaster, accelerating visitors from 0 to 180 km per hour in 5 seconds before subjecting them to a 112 meter tall vertical climb. While at the top of the structure, riders are given fantastic views of their surroundings before plummeting back towards the ground, marking the end of their experience. Ferrari Land also debuted with a mixture of other attractions, including Racing Legends, a Formula 1 experience putting you right in the heart of the action, Flying Dreams, a flying theatre attraction taking guests on a racing journey around the world, Maranello Grand Race, a car driving ride for the whole family, and The Thrill Towers, a pair of freefall and bounce back drop towers. Aside from rides, guests can roam the Italian inspired area, see a range of Ferrari cars, and learn about the company's rich history. A year after its debut, the park saw some smaller scale new investments, including the construction of a family roller coaster, Junior Red Force. With the addition of a second, separate theme park, it's clear that Portaventura World is trying to become a large scale amusement resort, fit with multiple days worth of activities for everyone to enjoy. However, reception to Ferrari Land has been mixed, with some finding it hard to justify the additional cost for only a select few attractions. However, with more investment, the new gate could become the attraction-rich theme park it was envisioned to be. For the 2019 season, the Port Ventura Park will debut Street Mission, an all-new Sesame Street Dark Ride adventure, while the resort will open its sixth hotel, Colorado Creek. Besides rides, Port Ventura World is home to a multitude of shows and other events. This includes the wondrous Cirque du Soleil production, a combination of music, dance and circus acts. Furthermore, the main park is host to three big events throughout the year. Visitors can experience white nights in the summer, a period in which the park is open until 3am, giving guests the chance to ride roller coasters in pure darkness. The park's Halloween event allows guests to be frightened by a range of roaming actors and even experience some spooky walkthrough attractions, 
while Christmas at Port Aventura gets visitors in the festive mood as the park is filled with coloured lights and giant gifts, while younger guests even get the opportunity to meet Santa. It's because of the world-class collection of attractions and prime location near the beaches of eastern Spain that Port Aventura World has become one of the most sought-after theme park resorts in the amusement industry. The rapid expansion of the entire complex in the past few years alone leads many to think the future of Port Aventura is bright. Like many, we look forward to seeing the park's next big thing. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and Coaster Studios' channel, as well as check out our other Park Explained videos.